One of the key things that often makes people successful is being client orientated. Generally, whatever the ask is, these people find a way to say yes and get it done. However, there's a big difference between saying sorry yes and just saying yes. Obviously, you might be thinking. But I see a lot of emails from people that start with sorry or apologies and then go on to say, yes, we'll do what you asked. 90% of these are when they've done or are doing something great that's aligned with what the client or what the colleague wants, but they have added some new thing that wasn't clear at the start or they're chasing for the original deadline or some other thing that's not a fault, not an issue, it's just a clarification. It's quite a British thing to be sorry on behalf of the other person, but as a rule of thumb, we don't need to say sorry when we say yes. Now, does it do any harm, you'd say? And as a one-off, probably not. However, if you do it a lot, it can start to make your life more difficult. And this is because sorry is a submissive stance. We all want to be respected as partners, equals, colleagues, and partners can disagree or agree without needing to be sorry about it. And when people are on CC but not closely involved with the project, it can look like to them that you're making mistakes rather than adding value or being flexible. Finally, it lessens the impact of sorry when you really have something to apologise for. Now, just to take an example, say I offer to arrange your travel for next week just to help you out. At lunch that day, if you're worried about it, you send me an email with the team on CC asking me if I've done it yet. If I say, apologies, I'll make sure it's done by the end of the day, to everyone on CC, it looks like I've missed this or I needed chasing or I haven't done something. However, if I simply say, your travel pack will be on your desk before you leave today, nobody thinks twice. They just think it's all under control. So if you're saying yes to a request, it almost never needs an accompanying sorry. Now hopefully that shows how you know, some of these skills can really transform the way that you are perceived in the, work of, uh, in the work environment. For more, on the skills that can help you to work smarter, look at the rest of the content in this section and subscribe to make sure that you are able to see the latest content.